Hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. I feel like a month or two ago, I can't really remember when, I uploaded an iPad unboxing video. And honestly, I didn't realise it would get as much attention as it did. And I'm very grateful for it, so thank you if you've watched that video. But yeah, so I decided today, because I bought a new phone, to also do a phone unboxing in case it helps you if you're wanting to buy the same phone, similar to people who were looking at my iPad video and it helped them decide if they wanted one as well. So yeah, I will be doing an unboxing of the iPhone 11. And yeah, if you're interested in seeing a little unboxing slash review, then please carry on watching. I would also just like to say that I'm currently on 985 subscribers. So thank you for everyone who's been subscribing the last few months. And if you've been subscribed from the start, because I've wanted to hit 1k for quite a while now and I think today is yeah today is the 2nd of June so a year ago today I posted my first YouTube video although this video won't be going up on the 2nd of June but yeah so I've kind of almost hit 1k in a year which I didn't think I'd ever do I kind of had a goal of hitting 1k after maybe two years so it's actually unreal, so thank you. Sorry about that. So back to the phone unboxing. I currently have um, an iPhone 8 Plus, um, the rose gold one. I've always been a sucker for the rose gold ones. And I bought this about two and a half years ago, I feel like. Also, sorry about the lighting. I feel like it's getting quite dark, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I bought this about two and a half years ago. So I've definitely been like really tempted over the last year to update because I'm quite used to like every two years upgrading it's sort of what I used to do but last year I was sort of like no I don't need a new phone and I, yeah I feel like I've done quite well to keep from the temptation of buying a phone after the 8 plus I wasn't too interested in the X or the XS and then when the iPhone 11 and Pro came out then I was tempted this is the iPhone 11 and the reason I picked the iPhone 11 over the Pro or the Pro Max because I was very almost tempted to get those but they were just so expensive and I really don't want to spend that much on a phone and in the end I sort of decided the iPhone 11 was pretty much the same thing apart from looks wise like the Pro and the Pro Max look quite a lot different but apart from that they actually all pretty much do the same thing in my eyes and I feel like this is just a whole lot cheaper than those phones. So I actually got this one off eBay for £600 which is roughly about 150 less than its like retail price which is really good and yeah I just felt like this time around I didn't want to spend tons on a phone, I did not want to spend a grand plus. <laughs> yeah so this is the phone I got and I got the one in white because I just feel like I wanted to go super neutral. Sadly there wasn't a rose gold version of this so I had to just make do with the white one. Yeah it is, um, the listing said it was opened but not used so sadly there is no plastic to uncover. It came in its original box. Oh my god the lighting is just not showing this very well. But yeah so I got the white one and I think it looks super pretty. I'm really actually excited to have a phone that looks quite different. I think it's like, I feel like I need to put them next to each other but it's like a little bit smaller than the 8 plus so if you have like a plus phone it's just that little bit smaller but I'm fine with that I did want something around the same size so I definitely couldn't go really smaller than that I don't think oh my god I'm so scared to like touch it it comes with a little booklet the earphones a USB and also it's got the plug in there as well I mean you can never have enough Apple plugs yeah I got this 64 gigabyte because that's what I had before previously and I mean I do struggle sometimes I have started putting like pictures onto a hard drive to sort of solve that problem so I didn't want to pay more money for more storage even though I probably should have I can't get over I'm sorry I know like I'm old but I had the iPhone 8 plus before so I still had the button and like the edge around the screen so this just looks like an alien to me right now Oh my god, this looks so weird without a button. One thing I will say that I'm a bit like, it's probably my only thing that I'm like, meh, is that on the iPhone 11s, all the um, the metal is silver, opposed to when I had the 8 Plus, it was rose gold. So I was a bit like, I wish there was a gold version, but I'm probably gonna have a case on it most of the time anyway. It's not too big of a deal. Just watch me drop this whilst I'm unboxing it. <laughs> Is there one on the back? 
that is not one on the back. One thing I'm actually quite like, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be plastic, but I thought the iPhone 11 was gonna be like the, what is it, like the 5C, if anyone remembers that. It was like plasticky. I don't know why, but online the iPhone 11 looked like that to me, but actually it is still that really nice glass like the iPhone 8 Plus. So I'm really happy about that. I love that it's white. In fact, actually, in fact, I probably should get my phone out of the case. So that is the 8 Plus next to the 11. I actually think I'm vibing with the white. And also the fact that the Apple logo's in the middle kind of makes me a bit happy. <laughs> oh wow, we love a uh, manually, what am I trying to say? <laughs> we love a phone with no personality. That's what I was trying to say. I'm going to swipe to open. It's so weird, there's not a button. Oh my God. Sign into your iPhone. Oh, I need to cut the Wi-Fi. Bear with. <laughs> okay, I do not have the Wi-Fi password currently, so I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to text it to me because I'm lazy. All right, I've just joined the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna sign into my Apple ID. Okay, it's just now signing into my iCloud. I still am like, where is the button? How am I supposed to function with it? Okay, that it's signing into my iCloud at the moment. So whilst it's doing that, oh, it's done it. Okay, we're gonna go back to the phone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wowee. <laughs> okay, so I just clicked iCloud back up and I don't know if this is actually working. The screen kind of looks like that. And I don't know if I've done it right. I don't really know how you transfer all your data from one phone to the other. And it didn't come up like a pop-up message, so I'm sort of like struggling a little bit. <laughs> right, so it's just sort of loading and doing its thing. I think it should work this time, because before it wasn't doing it, so there we go. Whilst it's doing its thing, I thought I'd just show you that I got a phone case as well. So obviously now all my iPhone cases aren't going to fit my iPhone, so I thought I would just buy one, so that at least I have one case to protect my phone. So I got this one. Oh god, it's so bright on the screen. It's from Ideal of Sweden, and I saw this on, I think, Chloe Hayward's Instagram account, who I follow on Instagram, and I fell in love with it, and I was like, when I get a new phone, I'm getting this case. Yeah, it looks like this, and just looks super, like, beachy to me. It's sort of, like, pebbly, and yeah, I just thought it looked super cute, so I'm gonna get that out as well. I just think this is so pretty, and I'm gonna put it on my phone. Um, now so that I don't destroy my phone. Hopefully this fits. I don't know why it wouldn't fit. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. So cute. Okay, okay, it's now saying hello to me. That is what I wanted it to do. Thank you, iPhone. <laughs> English, United Kingdom, and it's just setting up the language. So set up new iPhone has just popped up on this phone and now it says hold your new iPhone up to the camera or oh, like you have to take a picture of this weird blue splotch it's very sciencey <laughs> um finish on your iPhone keep this iPhone new whilst your iPhone is transferred okay oh my god I love how much bigger the screen is because it's sort of the same size as the 8 plus however the screen fills up like the whole thing <laughs> I've also ordered a screen protector off eBay and I've also ordered like a matte brown silicone case from eBay as well. Just some sort of cheap bits that will protect my phone. <laughs> Face ID. Great. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to look at my phone every time I wanna unlock it. That's fabulous. iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face. I'm glad it can. First position. Okay, transfer from iPhone. This will take 20 to 25 minutes. Oh really? I don't know what it's doing now. It's doing a lot of stuff, so. I don't know whether just to leave it to it. Yeah, I'm gonna come back when it's done a bit more stuff. So, adios. <laughs> right, so I am back and hopefully the camera hasn't moved too much. But I've just spent the last, like, what feels like three, four hours trying to back up my previous iPhone onto this one and it was taking a hot minute but I finally got there and my phone is, it's essentially, it's sort of like it's re-downloading all my old apps and everything that was on my old phone is now 
being put onto my new phone and I'm just now gonna put my SIM card in. But I tell you what, this Ideal Sweden phone case is really hard to get on and off when I had to put the SIM card in. Um, I almost couldn't get it off, I'm not gonna lie. So it says Vodafone, it looks like you've swapped your SIM. So yeah, I feel like I just want to set up a couple more things on my phone, such as, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? <laughs> Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Cool, I mean, Siri doesn't usually listen to me anyway from past experience, but we'll see if that works. Ooh, Siri voice. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. Oh. I'm Siri, your virtual assistant. Oh my God, he's male Australian. Yes, that's what I'm gonna be downloading now. Don't mind me. Oh my God, if Hugh Jackman could like audition to be the voice of Siri, that would be beautiful. I kind of want to test out the camera. I'm not gonna lie, it's what I'm kind of most excited for. Oh, the wide angle then. What the hell? <laughs> this is so weird. I feel like it's like a fish island. I feel like for doing like Instagram pictures and like flat lays, that is gonna be really nice <laughs> and I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with that. I also kind of want to see what the front camera is like and see if it's any different. She's a little bit in HD isn't she? <laughs> that is definitely a better camera. I feel like I have to take a selfie on both phones and put them side by side. I would do that apart from I've kind of already reset that phone. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to taking lots of pictures on this. I think that's kind of what I was most looking forward to anyway. But yeah, that is the phone and the phone case that I got. And yeah, I was gonna turn this video into a what's on my iPhone as well. However, all the apps are still downloading and I think it's gonna take quite a while because I have a lot of apps and it is quite late in the day because it took me so long to back up my phone that I think I might make that a separate video. So please let me know down below if you would like to see that an updated what's on my iPhone, as I think I did one last year. It was like one of my first ever YouTube videos, if not my first, possibly. So yeah, please let me know down below if you would like to see that. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.